Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, where we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. Subscribe to the channel for more sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, week three in college football is coming up, and we got a nice Friday night game in the ACC, Florida State at Louisville. This game right here, I have no idea what to expect here because Florida State is a team that they beat, they blew out DeCon, and then they surprised everyone and they beat LSU 24-23. And LSU, they should have won, but LSU blew the game and Florida State won. And they have a bye, they had a bye week and now they're playing at Louisville. Now Louisville in week one lost at Syracuse 31-34, 31-7. They got destroyed. And then last week they won on the road on another Friday night game and won at UCF 20-14 in the game UCF squandered as well and UCF could not score at, in the second half at all, and Louisville squeaked out a win. This game's interesting because both teams, we don't really know what to expect still, even though this is the third game of the season for both teams. Louisville got blown out in the game, and then they won on the road in a game that the other team blew. And then Florida State's won both games, one against a bad team, and the other against a team that they probably shouldn't have beaten LSU, but they squeaked out a win. So Florida State is 2-0. and Mike Norvell, again, he much needed to win over LSU to get the ball rolling in his third season as head coach. Jordan Travis, he is a, he, I'm not saying he's an elite quarterback, but he is really solid. I mean, he can throw. I mean, he can run a little bit. I, I really like Jordan Travis. I mean, Mackenzie Milton was good. But Mackenzie Milton uh, was injured, and Jordan Travis took his job. And if Jordan Travis had taken his job earlier last season, Florida State probably would have made a bowl game because Mackenzie Milton did not play well against Jacksonville State, unfortunately, and that's what kept Florida State from a bowl game. Trayshawn Ward, decent running back. They, they could not run the football against LSU, but it is hard to run against the SEC schools anyway because you have all those talented defensive linemen and linebackers that they stack the box and make sure you can't run. The SEC schools make sure you cannot run the football, so I wouldn't put too much into that. Wide receiver Ontario Wilson, he played fantastic against LSU. He had over 100 yards. And on the defense, linebacker Tatum Bethune is a monster. He, he gets a lot of tackles, and he makes life difficult. And he's probably going to make life difficult for Malik Cunningham, if, unless Malik Cunningham can escape for the Louisville side. And defensive back Renardo Green, very good defensive back. And on the Louisville side, they're 1-1. One one. Again, they lost to Syracuse badly, and then they beat a, a decent UCF team on the road. But Scott Satterfield, he's kind of on the hot seat, and he knows this is a very important season for him to continue to stay as the Louisville head coach and keep his job. Malik Cunningham is a great quarterback. He gets all the Lamar Jackson comparisons, obviously. They're from the same school, and they both have similar skill sets. They can both run and throw. Malik Cunningham, I like a lot as a quarterback. I think his throwing game needs to improve. Sometimes he makes bad passes, but the run game is spectacular. He can run the football. Unfortunately for Louisville, though, Sometimes him running the football takes away from the rest of the offense where they don't they don't spread the ball around. A lot of times it's just him running the football and that's it or him trying to make something happen before he crosses the line of scrimmage. And it kind of gets a little bit predictable even though you would think it wouldn't. Tayon Evans, the running back again, I think he's a solid running back, but they do not run the football as much with him as they do with Malik Cunningham. Wide receiver Tyler Hudson had a nice game against UCF. And on the defense, defensive back Kendrick Duncan Jr. and defensive lineman Yaya Diaby, I think that's how you pronounce that. So, Louisville's got a solid team. I think Florida State's more talented than Louisville, though. I do think they're more talented, but this is a game that is at Louisville, and Florida State in the past has struggled to win on the road, but they did beat LSU in an environment that was more Florida State fans were there than I thought it was going to be. But unfortunately for Louisville fans, I have Florida State going on the road and winning 34-24. I think the Seminoles are going to start 3-0 for the first time in many seasons, definitely, it's been a while since they've been 3-0, probably since like 2015 or 2016, right after the Jimbo Fisher era. Louisville, I think, is a decent team, and they could win this game. The home crowd should be good. It's a Friday night game, but I think Florida State having the week off between the LSU and the Louisville games and Louisville not having an extra week, I think that is an advantage to Florida State, and I think they're more talented, and I think Mike Norvell has this team ready to go, and he knows the goal and the mission for Florida State to have a good season. I think Florida State's going to go on the road and beat Louisville 34-24. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more sports content. Comment down below what you think about this game, whether Florida State's going to win or Louisville and why. Like this video, and I will see you next time.